<clears throat> hey guys, this is Batman 1999 doing another figure review. And this time I'm doing it on finally, after all this time, I have completed the entire set to build the Hulkbuster build a figure Marvel Legends. And uh, the first time I've done this review, you guys won't see this video, but this joint right here broke. Now I loosened it by using hot water and putting it in front of a heater and this technique works very very rarely for me but it worked this time so uh, anyway let's go ahead and go over the pieces now each piece come with a specific character uh, here on the back of the box well darn it you can't see but there would be the number see that I ordered this from walmart.com and it just got here today because the first vision figure you guys have already seen that review that like I said that torso piece broke and yes I am wearing a spider-man hoodie jacket but um, it broke and so I sent that back to Walmart got my money back and then ordered another figurine off of the website and they just shipped it and they sent it to me today so okay uh, let's put this thing together now like I said let's hope this is bigger than the Hulk now let's start with the torso piece here you just connect this piece right here in this joint right there you just push that right there and then that locks into place and then you got these peg holes right there and you got the pegs in the torso piece here and you just push that together and there's part of your articulation right there I'll go over that later and then to put the arms in you just push that joint right there you push this joint in right here there you go there's your torso and then we'll attach the legs if they'll go on there it goes and then let's get the other leg there we go and both of those attach right there on this part of the body and lastly let's get the head which is on a ball joint just get the little peg and push it right down there we go and oh my god, this Hulk Buster figure is stinking awesome. I've went over the paint variations pretty much in my previous videos going over each of the pieces. This thing has got a ton of articulation. I watched Sharmus Prime's review on the Hulk Buster, and he covered it very well. Um, just as a size comparison quickly, let's see if this works. And they are dead on the same height. Darn it, I was hoping the Hulk Buster was going to be bigger. But yeah, they're pretty much the same height. Uh, Hulk is just a small bit taller. But this will work. Um, I wished with all my heart that that Hulk Buster was just a little bit taller. Maybe about that much taller than the Hulk. But I will live with what we got. And this is a very impressive figure. I'll go over it real quick. Um not a lot of paint variations not going on on this thing uh, mostly the head is where the most detail went into that's pretty much it as for detailing articulations where the thing is on this Hulk Buster I'll go over that here in a few minutes but as you can see it's got all these paint variations there the little arc reactor it's just thinking awesome and then the silver right there not a lot like I said not a lot of paint variations but what is on this figure is the articulation and that I am very impressed with and see here on the bottom of the feet you do have peg holes but also you have these small little jet boosters which I wish had some detailing to them which would have been really cool as for like if you was doing a stop motion and you just show the Hulk Buster jumping up like that so you could see the feet and that would be very helpful and on the back of the figure he does have some more paint variation right there he's got some more jet boosters which is really really cool now uh, like I said not a lot of paint variation but 
There is a ton of articulation going on with this guy. Very, very impressed. He has a ball jointed head, which you get some neck pivot in there. Right, like that. Hold on, I don't think my camera is focusing good for you guys. Let's fix that. There we go. Uh, it can look up not that much. He can look up a little bit. He can look down. He can go back. He can move his head back and forward. He's got the ints, ints magic going on. Like I said, neck pivot. Uh, shoulders can go up just a reasonable amount. Uh, it's not this rendering the articulation. It just doesn't go that far up. Uh, can go down, go forward. We've got a bicep swivel right there. You got a single jointed elbow swivel at the elbow. The hand can go in like that and can turn. There we go. It's about as much as it'll move. Uh, the joint right here, I was scared about the first time I reviewed this because it broke. And after I loosened it, it moves. So the joint for the torso can go downwards. It can move up. It can go side to side, which is really cool. And can go back a lot. And that's very, very cool. And I like the way they sculpted this because, see, it goes over the arc reactor, but it's not bothering the paint, which is so awesome about that. Uh, the legs can kick forward, they can go back, leg can go out very little. That's not that bad though. Uh, bicep, uh, uh, a lower leg, or uh, upper leg rotation. Sorry guys. And he does have a double jointed knee. It's just very, very stiff. And you guys can probably hear the plastic moving. Uh, like I said, the, the figure I got is very, very stiff, but it's very, very cold in my home. So, yes, I do have a bit a different background today. I'm not at my house. I am at a muffler shop that my grandfather owns here in Newport, Tennessee. And uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, foot can go downwards. It can go up. Uh, and the best part about this figure that I love he does have ankle pivot which is very very cool you can put him in all sorts of different poses with this which makes this figure even cooler uh, the fact that he's really tall and the fact he has a ton of articulation and just the overall fact of I having a, me having a Hulkbuster Iron Man figure that is just stinking awesome all right, let's get the tape measure out here. Now the Hulk Buster to the top of his head stands at just a little over nine inches. Hulk is taller, so I guess I won't be doing my Star Wars spoiler. Well guys, it is comparison time. As we done earlier, we did compare him to the Marvel Select comic version of the Incredible Hulk, and the Hulk is bigger. I need a Marvel Legends Hulk, but this right here is perfect. For now, I will live with this Hulk. Uh, just because the Hulk is bigger, the Hulk does grow bigger in size. So, Charmus Prime did point out a good fact. The Hulk needs to be smaller than the Hulk Buster for the movie. Shardimus Prime, I would believe, reads the comic books as well. The Hulk, the more pissed he gets, the bigger he gets. This is a very pissed off looking Hulk. And in the comic books, everybody knows the Hulk is really, really pissed a lot. So the bigger he gets. Now to compare uh, Iron Man to another armored figure I have, I have the armored Batman figure from the Dawn of Justice movie. And this figure right here is just awesome too. Uh, size ways he is just a little bit shorter not a lot uh, yeah very 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 impressed with this figure overall this is one of the best figures I've ever had uh, now let's go ahead and get him compared to everyone else in this wave and there and here are all the figures outside of the packaging together and the Hulk Buster completely assembled all with each other and like I was saying this is the coolest figure set I have ever got thank you mom I love this Christmas present uh, I very much appreciate this love you very much uh, 
These figures are amazing. I highly recommend every one of these and the Hulkbuster. If you really are a big fan of Iron Man and you really are a big fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and just a big Marvel fan, the Doctor Strange figures psyched me out, which I'm a nerd myself. I was really, oh, darn it everybody, you fell over. I was really excited when they announced they were going to do Doctor Strange along with the Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure series. Uh, Doctor Strange is getting a movie here in a couple years which is going to be really really cool but yeah i would highly recommend this figure for anyone that collects hulk figures hulk buster figures anybody that's into iron man this this figure is really really up your alley the articulation for the posability the height size the overall just musculature of this figure is absolutely amazing sorry about the noise in the back that's uh, the vehicle he's starting. Uh, anyway, the another thing I would mention before we go, this is a very, very heavy figure. Uh, Shardimus Prime thought it, uh, one of his friends said it might be die-cast, which he said that he got a magnet and put to the side of the leg. Now, I haven't tried it and won't because I believe it, and I don't think this is die-cast. This is just really, really tough plastic because uh, this is die cast you would know it I mean he's a very very heavy figure yeah well, anyway guys thanks for checking out my review highly recommend it pick this figure up get all these figures together buy this figure buy it buy it buy it. I cannot stress that enough this is the best Hulkbuster figure that has ever been released it is the best Iron Man figure that's ever been released, in my opinion, which I've never had a Hot Toys, so I can't say anything really about overall all the Iron Man figures that have ever been made. This is the best one. I can't say that because I've never had a Hot Toys or anything. So, uh, I highly recommend it. Very, very cool. The detailing and everything. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't, we'll keep it to yourself. Uh, be sure to check out my friends Anon Entertainment and Monkey Mars 84848. They both always update their status and uh, they always make sure to put new videos and cool stuff on their, their pages. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day and thanks for watching. Just look at the detailing on the face, man.